the minute I turned the camera on and he heard me say it is 12.35 p.m., he got up. These cats are so smart. You're so smart, boo. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9.30 a.m. Good morning, Ditto. When I opened the back door, Ditto was laying on the doormat. He's hanging out, waiting for breakfast. How you doing, Ditto? Hello, Hydrox. How are you? Hydrax was hanging out in his shelter and I moved one of the vestibules because I need to get into his shelter and when I moved the vestibule then he came out of the shelter. Hey ditto. Ditto ditto. Hey ditto ditto. Hey ditto ditto. Hey ditto ditto. It's like that nursery rhyme. Hey ditto ditto. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sight. And then something ran away with the spoon. What was it? Was it the fork? Did the fork run away with the spoon? Who ran away with the spoon, Ditto? I think it was the fork, right? How you doing? This is what's going on inside of Hydrox's shelter. So what happened was yesterday evening, it was already dark out, um, I got reports that Hydrox peed in the shelter. And if he did, it would probably be around here. Um, because when I looked at the footage, Hydrox was laying here. That's why there's like dirt there and everything. Um, this cat shelter is pretty big. It was originally built to comfortably house four cats. So, you know, even if Hydrox peed here, he has plenty of room here. He has room here. He has room here. There's plenty of room in the shelter for him. So the way these pet training pads work is if he pees on it, it converts the pee to a gel. Um, so it's not like everything is all, you know, like liquidy in here. And um, what I found is that because there's a heating pad under it, um, the warmth from the heating pad eventually evaporates whatever liquid is in here. So if Hydrox should uh, use this as a litter box during the night, there's really no need to worry about it because it is quite large um, because these pads are very absorbent and because the heating pad will help dry stuff out. So all I have to do is remove that pet pad and then put another pet pad on. And then that gray blanket with the paws, um, that is wrapped around the heated pet mat. And there it is nice and neat with a fresh training pad in there. And there's Hydrox, he's hanging out with Boo. Hey Boo, Boo's waiting for breakfast. It is 9.40 a.m. right now, and I just gave Hydrox and Ditto some food. They're having some raw rabbit, and there's a bunch of herbs mixed in. The ones that I bought for Hydrox, it's a set for FIV positive cats. So Ditto is digging in, and hopefully Hydrox will go back and eat it. I'll come back in a little while, and we'll see who ate what, and if all the food is gone, I can give them some canned food. But they usually love this raw rabbit. I just came upstairs looking what's going on here. There were two cats sitting on the doormat together. That's so cute. They need to finish their food. Sometimes what Hydrox does is he hangs out and then he eats all his food before he goes back in the shelter. So we'll see what happens. It's 1.05 p.m. Hello, Boo. I just got home. I've been out for a few hours. And this is what I'm seeing. Look at this. So... This is what's going on with Hydrox's shelter right now. I don't know what he did with that training pad. He like bunched it all up. You see all the, um, you could see, you can see the blanket underneath. So I'm gonna go outside and fix this. He's gonna have to leave the shelter for a few minutes so I could straighten that out. Look at this. I don't know what he did, but he dragged the one that was over here, over there. That is crazy. It's also snowing right now. It started snowing maybe an hour and a half ago. So there's Hydrox. He should go back into the house. I put an extra training pad in there. So there's the two on the bottom, like there has been. Then I just put another one on top in case he wanted to kind of curl up in it. I'm not gonna put a blanket in there 
like um, a fleece blanket or anything because I don't want him peeing on it. I'd rather just put extra training pads for him. I'm also, I also took the food that was up here that was starting to get covered with snow. Here he is. And I put it under the feeding table. Maybe he wants some food. I couldn't tell who ate what because there was snow on the plates. I just put that plate of food outside and Hydrox meowed and Ditto showed up, but he did not come from his usual area. So either Ditto is in the other shelter or Ditto is just hanging out by the house where it was dry. In either case, there's some food there. They still have plenty of dry food in the feeder. Uh, Ditto was eating a bunch of dry food before. And there's still some of the wet food that I gave them previously under the feeding table. So Hydrox can eat that. Ditto be good. You could share it, but you have to be good. Be good, Ditto. Be nice, Ditto. Ditto, you're a nice boy, right? Ditto, you're a nice boy, right? It's very important to have expectations for cats. A lot of people don't have expectations for cats, but you have to expect good behavior from your cats. If you don't expect good behavior for your cats, they're not going to know how to behave. You have to kind of set the rules for them. Because if you don't set the rules that you want, they're just going to behave like cats, you know, like feral cats behave. The only difference between the only difference between a feral cat and a house cat is their level of training and socialization with humans. That's it. It's the only difference. Cats living in the wild, they belong to cat society. They live according to cat rules and cat manners and cat customs and, you know, that's how their lives are. And we humans, you know, we create our own set of rules for cats and we expect them to behave a certain way. And it's very important to have certain expectations as far as their behavior if you want them to behave how you want them to behave. I think that's one of the reasons why people say feral cats can't be trained and they can't be tamed. It's because some people have that expectation. If you set that expectation up in your head, then that's what's going to happen. If you expect the cats to be smart and to be trainable and to be able to learn new behaviors, then they will. It might take some time, it might take some effort, and it might take some patience, but it can happen. It's all about expectations. It's 12.35 p.m. I was going to show you Boo because he was laying on the rug here. Like he was laying there on the rug, but he had his head under the day sofa. Like there's this cover on the day sofa. It's like a blanket. So Boo was laying here and his head was under the day sofa. I'm like, what are you doing, Boo? But he was laying like that for like over an hour. I guess he just enjoyed it. The minute I turned the camera on and he heard me say it is 12.35 p.m., he got up. These cats are so smart. You're so smart, Boo. Hello, Boo. How are you? You a good boy, Boo? I want to talk about Boo because um, he's losing fur on his belly. Hey, doing, Boo. Okay? So, right here, he's been losing some fur. It's not completely gone, but I noticed that it is, it's lighter than it has been. So I first noticed it maybe like a week or two ago. I noticed that you can see his nipples, and in the past you can never see his nipples. So I said, that's, that's different, that's new for him. All of a sudden I could see Boo's nipples. And then the other day, or maybe a week ago, it looked like some of his fur um, was, I mean, it wasn't completely missing. It looked like it had gotten thinner in some areas. And I said, okay, what's going on there? First thing I thought is, okay, he's over grooming himself. Then today I looked again and it looks like it's a bigger area than it was. So you could see, you could see his nipples and then like right here, 
um, it's lighter fur and in a few other areas it's a little bit lighter it's not like completely fur loss who wants me to pet him um, but it does look like he is starting to lose some fur in that area um, and my initial thought is he must be over grooming himself because that'll cause that especially if it's just in one certain area versus like just overall fur loss or hair loss I have not been noticing him over grooming so he's either doing it when I'm uh, sleeping or not like watching him but I have not seen him specifically over grooming that area he could be doing it but um, I haven't seen it so um, I'm trying to think of like what else it could be so when dealing with any kind of symptom or issue from a natural health perspective the first thing I want to do is I want to say okay what has changed what could have changed that is causing uh, the hair loss in Boo or what could have changed that could be causing him to over groom that area basically what could have changed over the past month or so and there's a few things that have changed over the past month or so so for the past two months the cats have been eating commercial raw food they have been on homemade raw food for a few years now i want to say two years and over the past few months i have just gotten really good deals on commercial raw food and i thought i'd give myself a break from making homemade raw so uh, they've been eating commercial raw. Uh, they've been eating like rabbit and uh, chicken and turkey. Um, and I know they like the food because prior to that, they were eating one meal a day commercial raw and then one meal a day homemade raw. So I would say probably for like six months, six to eight months, they were doing one meal a day homemade raw and one meal a day commercial raw. And it's only the past two months that they're doing all commercial raw. So that could be something that is triggering um, the issue. Um, it could also be the winter weather. My skin is so dry right now. It is ridiculous. My, my hands especially are so dried out. They look like they've aged 50 years in just a few weeks. And my skin has also been itchy so it's like dry itchy winter skin so it could be that boo is dealing with that also so the first thing i thought was okay let me make sure i have some salmon oil and i add salmon oil to his food that he's eating um so i had some left in the refrigerator and i went to petco and i bought some more so thank you for the petco gift cards everyone uh, that bought some salmon oil for the cats they also have these um, chews. They, they also have these cat treats for uh, coat health. I think it's skin and coat health. So I bought those. Those are all natural. I'll give those to Boo. And when I make homemade raw food for the cats, I do put salmon oil in it. I put fish oil in it uh, to keep uh, their skin and coat nice and healthy to make sure that they get omega-3s. And maybe he's not getting enough in the commercial food I don't know that's just what I thought so it could be an omega-3 issue it could be a winter skin issue um, it could be the commercial food issue where you know he just does better on homemade raw food um, it could be a stress related when I researched the condition on the internet there's a lot of information about cats being um, stressed out and anxious and that causes over grooming that could be it it has been extremely stressful over the past few months much more so than usual so he could be feeling my stress and that could be making him stressed out so I have to make a conscious effort to be less stressed out and there's been a lot of stress going on um, with work and then just with stuff uh, like household stuff and then I've been going to the dentist for the past two months and they've been uh, fixing some old dental work. They've been replacing it. So that's been super stressful. So there's been a lot more stress than usual around here. So maybe he's picking up on that. 
like that time that I thought he had a UTI, but it ended up he was just all stressed out when I would go away for a few days. And um, I had to make some changes around that so he wouldn't get stressed out. So uh, it could be a similar issue. And I think those are all of the variables. Those are all of the things that have changed. So what I plan on doing is making sure he gets more omega-3s in his diet. Um, I have a humidifier running, so I'm going to make sure the humidifier is running to try to add more moisture to the air. Um, I actually bought some fresh salmon uh, that I'm going to make for the cats. They're going to have that today for dinner. Sam salmon is really high in omega-3s. And I also bought some fresh chicken. So sometime over the next 24 to 48 hours, I am going to be making some homemade raw food for the cats. Boo says he's really excited about that because he has missed it. Okay, Boo. And I also bought a chicken. I'm going to make some homemade chicken soup for the cats so I can mix that in with their food. And I'm going to give Boo those... Uh, those special chews for skin and for health and uh, then we're gonna see we're gonna watch him he's gonna be under observation right boop and we are also going to make a conscious effort to reduce our stress levels and I'm not gonna be rushing around as much and what are we gonna do boo? we're gonna do more yoga we're gonna do more meditation we're just gonna do more calming things right right boo says right the one other thing that's changed is the live stream. So this is a live stream laptop, which is currently shut. And then there's a monitor um, that monitors Hydrox. And the live stream streams what's on the monitor. And Boo is less than two feet away from this. And he's been sleeping uh, probably in this location, maybe two feet away from this, um, which I don't really like. I don't like anyone sleeping on top of computers or that close to computers, so I might have to move this, but I really can't because it's hardwired to outside, so I might have to encourage Boo not to sleep so close to it. Right, Boo? Right, Boo? It's about 10 minutes later, and look what he's doing. He's grooming again. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.